As Christians, I guess the two of you don't believe in premarital sex, do you? Do we believe that it exists? Yes. Do we believe that it's the best thing for us at this point in our relationship? No. So you two, you've never had sex with each other? No, we've had sex before, uh, a couple of years ago. But uh, it was great. But as it turned out, it wrecked our relationship. On camera, we are. We are on camera. Fortunately, we got back together and saw the light, and uh, now I'm uh, committed to abstinence for the time being. Good luck with that. And good luck with the big game next weekend. Well, I wasn't expecting to uncover the best part of the story. The unintentional scoop. Back to you in the newsroom. What the hell were you thinking? Cut. Here. Thanks. You didn't eat anything. I don't really feel like eating. My famous quarterback boyfriend just announced to the world that I'm a teenage harlot. Well, Grace, it is a good lesson. Don't do things you might regret later. Why don't you just say, I told you so, I told you so. Did you call Jack like I told you to? No, oh, did he call you? Did he ask you to tell me to call him? He's left me plenty of messages on my phone and I'm not speaking to him. Not today, anyway. When are you going home? There's a big lesbian AA meeting over my house. Can't go home, not right now, but I'm going. Good. Grace, enough with the bad mood. Get over it. Get over it? They're playing that clip on every newscast, every sports cast, every cast there is. I might as well wear a scarlet letter to school tomorrow. So the kids that don't watch TV but read the classics will know as well? <laughs> funny. There, no, there's nothing funny about it. My entire reputation is completely shot. No one's going to take me seriously. No one's going to take my commitment to Christianity seriously. I should have just stayed with Daniel. Who's Daniel? Guy number three. Just out of curiosity. Why not guy number two? Why not Grant? Because he thinks he's smarter than I am. And he's not. About anything. Wow. What could they be doing? Why is the search for taking so long? Oh, hopefully it won't be much longer. I wish Jack's dad would come back out. Why can't we wait with him? Oh, it's a small area. Family only. He'll come out as soon as he knows something. I wasn't nice last night. I wasn't nice the last time I talked to him. And the same thing happened with dad, you know? The last conversation we had was an argument, and I've never forgiven myself for it. And even after I found out what a louse dad was, I still hate what I said to him the last time I saw him. Of course, if I'd known what he was doing over there, I probably would have said worse things. Yeah, well, it is difficult not to judge him. But we shouldn't judge him. It's just not our job. You just never know when the last time you talk to someone's going to be the last time you talk to someone. No, you don't. <laughs> on the news now. His name has been released. Yeah, his mom is in there now. They sold the condo and she was there packing everything up and they turned the phone off already and she hadn't charged her cell, so his dad had to tell her on the phone and then she had to drive back by herself. How's she doing? I just saw her for a minute. She didn't look good. Neither did his dad. I just wonder if there's something that they know that they're not telling us. It's weird, isn't it? We're really not good at being friends until something goes wrong. Yeah, we need to learn to be better friends. Well, thank you guys for coming. I'm so glad you guys are here with me. So, the doctor let Jack's parents go in with them. I don't know what's going on, but I guess they'll come out and talk to us as soon as they can. <laughs>